Welcome to this tutorial on how to connect to the GitHub API using the Data Productivity Cloud. In this tutorial, we'll retrieve activities data related to a specific GitHub repository. It's worth noting that to follow along with this tutorial, you will need to create a bearer token in GitHub. Information on how to do this can be found in the documentation link below this video. Something else to be considered is that it helps to be mindful of the level of access you have for the repositories you are trying to get data from. To begin, let's configure the component. First, in the data source drop down menu, we'll select repository activities. This menu lists the available GitHub API endpoints in the connector. For a complete list of endpoints, you can refer to the link below this video. For the authentication type, select bearer token. Next, for the token field, we will select the authentication token. You will need to have this token set up as a secret definition, which can be managed by clicking the Manage button. Next, we move on to the Configure tab and start by inputting our URI parameters. Clicking on this field opens a column editor window where we input the parameter name in the left column and the parameter value in the right. For the repository activities endpoint, you'll need to provide the parameters owner and repo. In this example, I'll enter Josh Court as the repository owner and the repository name will be my code repository. Since we don't need any additional parameters for the query and header sections, we'll leave those blank. Now let's move on to the destination tab where I'll set the destination as Snowflake. For the warehouse database and schema settings, we'll leave them on the environment default to use the defaults configured in the project environment. Next, for the table name, I'll enter repository underscore activity. Then I'm going to change the load strategy to replace so that I can overwrite a table if it already exists. For the stage platform, I'm going to select a data platform using the drop down menu. In my case, I will be selecting Snowflake and for internal stage type, I'll select user. Now that everything is configured, I'll validate the pipeline and sample the data from the component. As you can see, all the repository activities have been successfully pulled into the table. So now I will run the pipeline. We can check the data has been successfully extracted by examining the task history. Our data is now in our Cloud Data Warehouse, ready for further transformations. So that's how you successfully connect to the GitHub API, pull repository activities data, and load it into a Snowflake table. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more videos on the Data Productivity Cloud. To get started with Matillion, just visit matillion.com.